hello hello god's beautiful people hello <sighs> welcome back or am i welcoming myself back <laughs> um i miss you guys so very much so very much um and i know that a lot of you probably has been wondering where i've been and um because i got a couple of messages and and so but i come here today First of all, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Um, God uses me to speak prophetically into the lives of his people. Um, and that's why I am here. No other reason <laughs> other than God calling me to be here. And I'm going to talk about that right now because I think the enemy likes to take people like myself who've been chosen by God, who have not asked for this path, that it was actually chosen for them. So I always tell y'all that I'm going to be transparent with everything. So that's what I'm here for, to give y'all a little bit of what's been going on and how the Lord has dealt with me in this season. Um, and I'm praying that it helps somebody. I'm praying that it pulls you through for others who are fighting and going through like me. And let me just say, this is all spiritual fighting. This is all in the spiritual places. This is, it's, it's all spiritual. It's all in the spiritual realm. And y'all, I have never, experienced anything like this before in my life <laughs> so um for the last several weeks month or so even though i was still doing words um y'all i was struggling i was struggling because it seems like you know i've had periods in my life where i get down at times during this walk ever since i gave god my yes um but i would always come out of it you know and so, but for about the last month or so, it's been real dark for me. Like, um, I will come on here and I'll encourage y'all. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit is moving and I feel so good, but I literally can go to sleep. And then the next day I can't even get out of bed. <laughs> um, so, and I'm apologizing in advance for getting emotional and I, Help me, Lord. Help me to deliver this message the way you want it delivered. I think people think that when you do this and when God calls you, you got some kind of superpowers, like um, you're some kind of superhero or something or that you're no longer human. And I am very much still human. While I do get my strength from the Lord, in the natural, I still have to fight. In the natural, I can still feel. In the natural, I am still very much human, okay? Um, and help me, Holy Spirit, <laughs> help me. And this, let me just say this. I've been, like I said, in a, in a dark place, like, asking God to take this cup from me. Because in all honesty, I didn't ask for this, okay? Um, I remember praying and asking God for two things. Well, actually three. <laughs> One was filling me with the Holy Spirit and giving me evidence of it through tongues. And God did that. And I remember praying and asking God to allow me to hear him for myself. Like, I don't want to hear what anybody else got to say. God, I want to hear you for myself. That if you said you speak to your people, I want to hear your voice. I want to know what it's like to hear you for myself. And he did that. And I asked God to use me, but never ever in my life <laughs> did I think him using me would entail all of this. When 
I told God that I was his. I never knew my life would change like this. And I know I let y'all in on just a little bit, you know, about, you know, God bringing me out of my career and I let y'all in on him relocating me. But wow, it is so much more <laughs> that I don't go into that my life is completely changed. Like I am no longer the person I used to be. And everything that I once considered me and normal is no longer anymore. And this, me being in a dark place has nothing to do with those things, you know, but come on through Holy Spirit. That I think people have the misconception that when God uses you, like it's, it's, um, you're immune to the attacks. You're immune to everything. And that's not true. And God just has been dealing with me on being in good company with everybody he called from the Bible, being in good company, you know, of just going through things. And I kept asking God, like, why can't I come out of this? Why can't I come out of this dark place? Why am I stuck here? Like, I don't understand why normally I can pray my way out. Normally I can fast my way out. Like nothing was working. And God reminded me of Job and how it didn't matter how much he prayed. It didn't matter how much he spoke. It didn't matter how angry he got. It didn't matter how frustrated he got. He just had to sit in it for his time. And that's where I found myself just sitting in that place, waiting for God to speak, waiting for God to show me where do I go from here? Um, just allowing the enemy and the people that he, that he selects and that they allow themselves to be used um, against me, dealing with all of that. And I found myself in a place where I asked God to take this cup from me. I, I literally didn't want to do this part of it anymore. Like it's a lot. I am a private person. I don't, I just never been the one to, <sighs> this just is not me, not the me I used to be. Um, but slowly God began to show me different things. And like, it's literally been a journey these past few weeks of God showing me why, showing me the why, showing me the how, showing me the when. And it hasn't been easy. It has not been easy. And just when I found myself feeling like I could see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, something else would come and just snatch me back under. And it, I felt like I was drowning in this sea of darkness, in this sea of wanting to go back to how things used to be before people attacked me, before, you know, and I asked God this question. I said, God, before I started this walk, like I'm no stranger to people coming against me. It's been that way my whole life. And I'm, and, and I'm so used to people always coming at me with the worst. Like it's the most far out things that is nowhere near who I am as a person. And even before my walk, and I'm so used to that, like, um, and I asked God, I said, why is it so hard for me to deal with people coming up against me in this state and who you call me to be, 
who you chose me to be, who you created me to be. Like when I was before my walk with God, before I accepted God's yes, people could say stuff and I'll let it roll off. Like I can show you better than I can tell you. And I asked God, like, why? Why can I do that in this walk? And he began to show me it's because before I didn't give up anything to be who I was. I was just who I was. But when you give God your yes, it comes with a lot of sacrifice. It comes with a lot of denying your natural self to walk in the spiritual of who God created you to be. Like nobody knows the cost. Nobody knows what you go through to get to this point. All the things, the bad things, the horrible things that you endured your whole life, that you suppressed that you said i'm gonna move on from when you give god your yes see he bring all that back because he needs you to heal so he can give your testimony so you can give your testimony from a place of i walk that walk but see nobody gets to see all that nobody knows all that so it's hard when people attack when they don't know what you sacrificed and what you've been through to get to this point But God reminded me of something just today. He reminded me of how you can always tell when the enemy has recruited somebody to come against you because they're not speaking things of your past. They're not speaking things of, you know, of who you are. They're speaking things that you have never been because they want to make you think you're somebody that you're not in the spiritual. And it's always the most far-fetched things. And I'm gonna give you an example. One morning, God told me to go. He sent me to Matthew 12. And I began reading. And this was after Jesus had performed a miracle. And some of the Pharisees had heard about the miracle that he did. And they said, no wonder he can cast out demons. He get his power from Satan, the prince of demons. And see, them not knowing, Jesus knew their thoughts. He said, any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And if Satan is casting out Satan, he is divided and fighting against himself. His own kingdom will never survive. survive. I come here and I speak what the Lord tells me to speak. I come here doing what the Lord tells me to do. Honestly, it's not what I want to do, but I can't go against what God called me to do. And for people to say that I'm not who I say I am, that's fine. But when you deliberately <laughs> speak things that are so far from who God called me to be, let me tell you something. I ain't never seen nobody. I've never seen Satan glorify God. I've never seen Satan preach God. I've never seen Satan bind the works of himself. I've never seen Satan do anything. I've never seen fruits, good fruits that comes from glorifying Satan. So when somebody says that about me, it makes no sense to me because the Bible teaches us to know them by their fruits. And if I gave y'all a peek into my life, for real, of who I used to be compared to who I am now, and, and I'm gonna just take one part of that. Let's just take the financial. God called me out of my career. He hasn't called me into another one yet. But he takes care of me. I don't know how y'all never do I struggle 
Never do I worry. And I ask God, when will this part end? God says, I'm training you to because where I'm sending you, people will throw money at you. But I need you to know that all money ain't good money. So I'm teaching you how to depend on me. And when I tell y'all I depend on him, I depend on him like no other. And never do I struggle. Never do any is anything ever behind. And from my lack, I bless others. And it's all because I trust God. How can you sit back and throw stones at somebody who God has chosen? But God has made me realize that that is what the enemy does. That is what the enemy does. And in this time that God has had me sitting in this place, he made me realize that I chose you. I chose you. I know you don't want to do it. I know you don't want to go back online. I know you don't want to speak into people's lives. I know you don't want to do coaching sessions. I know you don't want to do any of that, but I chose you. And I have fought y'all. I have asked God to take this from me. I have literally been in this place of, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But God had to make me realize is that I didn't choose you because you're strong. I didn't choose you because you're bold. I didn't choose you because you have a good heart. I didn't choose you because you are positive. I didn't choose you for any of those things. I chose you because of all of those things and for things that you don't even know yet. So if you don't know, there's no way anybody else could know and it made all the sense to me in the world because until you have accepted god's call he reinvents you he take he takes what you have all of the things you've ever known about yourself and strip them away and he literally rebuilds you and reintroduce you to yourself because you never walked in who you were authentically created to be. So I'm still learning everything about me. And God let me sit in that until I accepted. Until I accepted this call wholeheartedly he let me sit in those dark places until i realized what i carry it don't matter it doesn't matter what anybody of flesh <laughs> anybody have to say i don't care who you say said what i know who god called me to be And until I accepted that, God let me, just like Job, just sit there. Just sit there until <clears throat> I acknowledged that I was chosen. And I don't know why. I keep asking God why. But for whatever it is, it's bigger than me. Whatever it is, I didn't ask for it. But whatever it is, I've come too far to go back. <sighs> you know, after, you know, I heard another uh, prophet say, Sometimes she don't want to do videos some days because she just don't want the negativity. 
And when she said that, I felt that. I felt that because on the days sometimes when God didn't give me words to put out, I was so relieved because I just didn't want to be bothered with people. Um, but then there are the times when you get something that you know God sent somebody. And there was a message right after I had gotten one of the most horrible messages I think I've ever received in my life. <laughs> um, and I've been accused of some crazy things in the world. But like I said, it's something about this walk where things hit so very differently. And so, but this person, I don't know your name, but you sign your comment with the initials B N. And your message, you don't know, I'm giving you confirmation because you gave me confirmation. But that message came straight from the Lord himself <laughs> because everything you spoke, God had spoken to me a few days before, all the way down to the oil that's on my head and the living water that flows through me. God spoke on all of it. And then you came and you confirmed it all. God used you and it blessed me. All I could do was just cry out to God because I knew he sent you. I knew he sent you. So many times, complete strangers. And this is before I ever did a video. Complete strangers would speak into my life. And just out of the blue, Facebook, whatever, and tell me how God sent them to me and God talks, wanted them, wanted them to tell me different things. And so many times I've heard about God wanted me to tell you he separated you to protect the oil on your life because the enemy really wants to take you out. I did not understand how horrible attacks can be until recently like the enemy truly sets out to destroy god's children and so and not just in words but physically as well but god has like i said in this time has been speaking and sending confirmation after confirmation and for those of you that he has used, I thank you. I thank you for being obedient. And I thank you for reaching out because you hadn't heard from me. And it really has been a true, true blessing. Um, oh, oh, Jesus. So I wanted to make this video to just kind of let y'all know what I've been going through in how it's been for me in this walk it is it has not been easy um i don't think people understand <laughs> like it goes so deep i can't put into words but the cost <laughs> the cost of all of this is not small the cost of all of this is huge bigger than i thought it would ever be and i don't think anybody knows what it's like i've lost a lot of people in my life and i have cried oh my god i have cried some horrible cries <laughs> but on this journey and recently being in this place and crying out to god i have had cries that i never knew i could cry I don't know if anybody can relate to that. Like I cried so hard and so loud. It scared me. Like I didn't know that I can cry like that. I didn't know that that was even in me. Like I didn't know that. <sighs> this walk would cause me so much pain spiritually and physically but it does and i've accepted it 
I've accepted it. I've accepted that this is what God has for me. And so I have no choice but to allow him to lead me, allow him to use me and cast down any and everything that tries to come up against that. And normally I am more open about the things people say, you know, to me, whether it's positive or negative, but um, God told me not to this time. <laughs> he said, because he's doing something and I'm going to, I'm going to rest in that. I'm going to rest in that and trust him and I'm going to move forward. So I will be back delivering words from the Lord. He never stops speaking. I, I do have things that he has spoken over the lives of his people. And I've still been writing them down and I've still been having dreams and all of those things. But in the last couple of days, he had been giving me dreams of showing me who he called me to be. And the very first dream I cast down because I thought it was the enemy trying to attack me in the dream. And then I went back to sleep and it was the same type of dream. And then I took a nap later on and it was the same type of dream. And I said, God, are you speaking? Because I cast down the first one because the, the enemy, like he can come in and mess with your dreams. So you have to be able to discern what's true and what's not. So I cast it down at that point because I didn't know that it was God. But when he sent it to me back to back like that, when he sent it to me, not saying that the enemy didn't try to tamper with those dreams, but I was more aware of what God was saying. And, and in other words, I took what the Lord was saying and I got rid of the junk. <laughs> Um, so because <sighs> he was letting me know, like, at this point, there is no going back at this point, this is who God calls me to be. And it's the same for each and every one of you. Like if God has called you, if he has chosen you, you will know it by your fruit. <laughs> you will know it by your fruit. So I have to look at the fruit. I have to look at all of the things that God does through me. And I have to look at all of the things God sends my way and all of the people he sent my way that speaks life and not death, that speaks glorification and not condemnation. Like God doesn't send us to condemn or judge. That's his job. So. I just needed to be transparent and let you all know that, yes, I have been on a journey this past month. And yes, I have been in a dark place. Like, and yes, I did not want to do this anymore. Like this was not, I'm like, God, I didn't sign up for this. This is not what I asked for. This is not what I want to do. I need you to do something else, choose somebody else, you know, like this is not what I asked for. You know, I don't care anything about no YouTube and content creating or sending out messages or God, give me something else. Give me something else to do. Like I didn't, this is not, but this is it. This is it. This is it. And I had to accept that. And through a series of so many different things, God has showed me that this is who he called me to be. And I receive it. I receive it. And I'm not going to let the enemy rob the Lord of what he has called me to do. I'm not going to let the enemy take away from this ministry. I'm not going to let the enemy take away from my walk with God. I'm not going to let the enemy destroy this vessel that God has so graciously chosen. Why he did, y'all, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm grateful and I will continue to push forward and I'm going to continue to deliver God's messages and I'm going to continue to kick Satan in his face and any and everybody else that he sins this way. But while I'm kicking you in the face, I'm going to pray for you because that's what God calls us to do. 
And believe it or not, there is not a person in that I have encountered, stranger or somebody I knew that has not come up against me that I did not pray for, that I have literally learned not to take matters into my own hands. Quick testimony, and I'm going to end this. But recently, I like to patronize small businesses. And if you're on Instagram, there's a lot of businesses where people are selling like different things that they do with fruit. And I found a young lady and she said that she shipped. And so I made a pretty big order from her. Um, it's about almost a hundred dollars. It's a ninety dollar order, and so it was coming up to Thanksgiving, and so I figured it wouldn't ship out till after Thanksgiving, and so I reached out to her, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna ship it that Monday," and then I saw online where she was saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna be shipping out anymore," so I reached out to her again, and she was like, "Oh no, I'm not gonna do any more shipping. I'm gonna." Um, give you a refund. And so then I waited, I never got a refund. And so then she was like, oh, um, I'm gonna um, still issue a refund. But in the midst of all that, she went back and said that she was shipping again. And so I was just like really confused and going back and forth. And then, so I reached out to her again and finally she got back to me and she was like, oh, I've been in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. And so of course, like I prayed for her and all of that, but still never did I get my money back. And I never received the product. And I was upset about it. And God kept telling me, don't reach out to her anymore. And I didn't understand that. I'm like, why God? And I'm like, cause she got my money. And he was like, because vengeance is mine. I fight your battles. And y'all, it's hard when you know that somebody has come up you know, has basically stolen from you, you know? So all I had to do was submit a claim and get my money back, but God told me not to. So I left it alone. And so after a week or two, I revisited that thing with God. I'm like, can I get my money back now, Lord? Because yeah, she doing the most. She got all these orders coming in and she's doing this and she's posting how many orders she got and how much money she making. And I'm like, but yet, she still has not given me back my money or shipped me my product. And so God sent me, he told me to go to Deuteronomy 15. And I read it and I was, I could have threw my phone across the room because when I went there, it said about, you know, in the seventh year and it gave the Hebrew year and it was saying something about um, release everyone of their, your, of their debts. <laughs> that anybody that owes you, release them of their debts. And so after that, I shut up. I was like, okay, God, I get you. I, I'm not going to bother you no more. And I'm not going to bother her anymore. I'm going to let you handle it. I'm going to pray for her. That's what I'm going to do. And so later on, I don't know, several weeks later, God did two things to let me know that he is God. One, he sent me to a message where I don't have a Hebrew calendar. So I don't know. Um, how all of that works. But when the when that that scripture said in the seventh year, so according to the Hebrew calendar, y'all, this was the seventh year. Blew me away. I was like, okay, Lord, I see you was for real. <laughs> and then that young lady, something happened and the website where she receives her orders, the entire website shut down. She was sending out, she kept posting her interaction with the company trying to get it back in the meantime she couldn't see who ordered what or anything like nothing was happening it was like at a standstill and it went on for weeks and eventually but she never got that website back she had to literally start over from scratch and still i prayed for her and let, let me say this no god did three things because then he gave me my money back through another way and not two times more, not three times more, not four times more. When I tell y'all it was maybe 10 or more times more, he gave me my money back. And then some. Let God fight your battles because he can do it better than you. And I prayed wholeheartedly and I asked God to give her a fresh start. And to this time, 
let her be honest with her business dealings and let her move forward in a way where she's not creating issues for herself or hurting people in the process. Don't let her use and mistreat anybody else. So I'm praying that she got that. Y'all. God is real. And he has taught me how not to be the old Tara because the old Tara would have chopped her head off. The old Tara would have, by the time I finished, she would have thought um, uh, the most expensive attorney was getting ready to knock on her door. She would have thought she was about to be served court papers because I was I had already pulled the laws in that area for merchandising. Like she don't know me like that. She don't know that I know how to research the laws. I don't care what state you're in. She don't know on an intellectual basis who God called me to be. So I was getting ready to go after her legally because see, it wasn't about the dollar amount. It was about the principle. But see, God did it better than me. That is the difference in who God has called me to be. And that's why I'm going to keep trusting him. And I'm not going to let the world tell me that I'm not who God says I am in him. You may not like the fact that he chose me, but I'm not here for you. I'm here for the ones who God has sent my way for a word to encourage, to lead, to guide whatever that, however that is, and for whomever that is. And I just want to let y'all say, God chose me, so I'm choosing God. And ain't a devil in hell going to stop me. I love y'all. When God sends me back with another word, I just want to let y'all know that I am out of the dark place and that I'm going to continue to fight this fight. And I'm going to continue to let God use me the way he wants to use me. And I encourage each and every one of you to do the same.